Well, I started my fire department career in 1981 and uh, worked in a busy station in Regent Park. I worked there basically my whole career until uh, I was promoted to a captain and the promotion took me here on this shift and um, I've enjoyed the challenge and uh, the work environment here on the island. It's, I've really enjoyed it. So um, basically just worked in the city, got promoted and came here. Uh, one shift is 24 hours. So we take the 6.30 boat in the morning. We go till uh, 6.45 the next, the next day after the first boat comes in. We change personnel at the dock. This uh, crew that had been working the day before will come down to the dock with the trucks and we do the switch there. They go on to the ferry, go, go back to the city and we come here to work. On duty at any given time here, we have five, five firefighters and two paramedics. So we have a total of seven uh, people working out of our station. So on our shift, uh, we have, because we have no stores, and we're here for 24 hours, and you know, uh, there's four shifts in the fire department. We have a designated chef of the day in our, in our group. And so today we had breakfast, um, fruits and cereals and uh, poached eggs on a muffin. For uh, lunch, I'm just going to start preparing a nice, beautiful spaghetti meal. And then tonight, I'll be doing a feature as a chicken schnitzel with all the trimmings. So that's, that's my cooking for today. And uh, usually they're pretty happy with it. And it's pretty good price too. <laughs> yeah. um, I've always said if you didn't like it, it's free. <laughs> but uh, everybody's always paid so yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, it, cool. it's really good mm -hmm. and the unique thing is too we all help in preparing the meal setting the table cleaning up it's um, um, a bit like a family our group here is like a family and uh, although uh, we don't see each other all that much away from work when we come here it's like being with your work family and uh, everybody gets along great and that's how it should be this is this is my office here yeah we have uh, beds that we're allowed to use after 2300 so um, you know a lot of the places in the city especially the downtown core and and all over the city are very busy after 2300 hours so their bunks don't get used that much and uh, but we do have the opportunity if we're not busy or training or anything that has to do with the job, we are allowed to take a rest uh, after 11 o'clock at night. One thing I think a lot of people don't realize is that it's ongoing training. So like I've been doing it since 1981 and there's training almost on a daily basis. And I, I don't think people really realize uh, that, that that actually happens in the fire department. I don't know what people think, uh, you know, I've heard some things like <laughs> yeah. that were to the contrary. But you know what? Even a place like here on the island, um, we do our share. Of, uh, we we do all of the training that is required. And I, I, you know, just off the record, you guys probably know that you know we've probably called out for anything, anything, any time. So we're pretty good medically. We're pretty good hands on. There's a lot of uh, firefighters that have a trade or are good in in um, other things besides firefighting and there's always the safety aspect of, of whatever we do um, although it can be a dangerous job from time to time safety is paramount to we try and do it as safe as we can so hence the training that always goes on just to make sure that that continues that way and there's always always uh, new things, new technologies that we're, we're incorporating into our, into our work, uh, new medicines that we also uh, get updated on and, and uh, get trained for using. We have a defibrillator. Um, we can also uh, administer um, Narcan now for uh, people who are overdosed on certain drugs. And we do uh, a lot of the medical things except uh, basically what 
the only thing we don't do is inject drugs uh, into a body that's left to the paramedics. We do, although we have those EpiPens that we were trained to use, and we do have them with us too in our medical kit. So yeah, it's um, it's ongoing and it's always advancing, like many many jobs, many industries, and uh, so that's just how it is in the fire department. For me. Um, the 24 hours goes by very quickly because you're usually, believe it or not, pretty busy. Even if you're not going out on calls on a steady basis. But a lot of the downtown halls, it's not unusual for them to go out 15 or 20 times a day. And uh, you can just imagine there's paperwork and reports that have to be made out and equipment needs to be uh, changed up or cleaned or fixed after every call. So if you would have that many calls in a 24-hour shift, you're pretty steady. And the, the day actually, for me, goes very quickly. 24 hours may seem like a long time for somebody to be at work, but I find uh, many times the day's gone very quick, and I haven't really even accomplished everything I've wanted to sometimes. So but I think that's a good way to be. Another unique thing over here on the island is... Uh, each captain in the city is responsible for one truck, one crew, whereas because of our isolation here, we have three vehicles here. So with five personnel, we have three drivers, one captain, and one other person. So as far as driving, all of the personnel here know um, the island very well. And uh, like I say, we interchange with the driving. but. Being that we have three vehicles and four people available to drive them, um, although I have my A license, I should. I'm the highest. Uh, I got the highest license here. I should be driving, but of course, they don't let old guys like me. Uh, I'm supposed to look after the safety aspect and everything else of it. As far as the community uh, where the residents live, um, we can get there in a matter of minutes, from the time we get dispatched. So the time we get on our vehicles and get to the call is minutes, a few minutes. So uh, a, a quick response time. You normally would like to get to a call in five minutes or less. That's the optimum time for many things, fires, medical emergencies. I mean, if it can be quicker, even better. But that's, that's usually what we shoot for. Um, like I say, Going west from here, it might take us a little longer depending on weather, uh, the time of year, the amount of people on the road, 